Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Red Stock straight from Japan. Yay, I'm back. And this is a review for Transformers Adventure TAV37 Megatronus. And Transformers Adventure is actually the Japanese version of Transformers Robots in Disguise. It has the same little gimmick where you can scan the symbol over here, and I'll show you that. I don't have the little program, but you can scan it. You can definitely do. This is Megatronus. Megatronus, yeah, TAV 37 Megatronus. It's a tank. Here's the side of the box. As you can see, yeah, you can use the Transformers channel, that app over here. I'm not sure if the American version works. I'm not going to try it because I deleted it ever since I moved here. So this is the back of the box. You got that little hyper realistic scene that we've been seeing for a while. At least since I forgot. I forgot that pro. Uh, I forgot that uh, line. Darn it. Anyways, yep, you can scan it. Says it over here, scan it away. It's for that little game. Uh, there's Animax. If you want to check it out? A little thing on YouTube, the Takara Tomi channel. Man, that's cool. There he is, he's a tank. Alright, side of the box, top of the box, 30th anniversary. Man, that's good. That's good. You can see he's a. Wait, what's with the Autobot symbol? Is he? It's weird. I hope that's not a. That is an Autobot symbol. Anyways, bottom of the box. Let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. Oh, let's make a size comparison since I got Brawl over here already. And he's a deluxe size figure. And Brawl don't want to cooperate. I don't know why. You know what? That's okay. Deluxe size figure. What can I say? There you go. Also, one thing I also want to mention is that he's got some big clown feet. Look at that. And that's useful because, as you can see... I think I can make him do a sidekick there. Yeah, I could almost make it. There we go. Yeah, flexible. Yeah, he can definitely do the splits. But let's go ahead and take a look at the figure. As you can see right here, got that little Megatron, Galvatron type vibe. He, I don't know about the alternate figure. I mean, this is where the figure shines. There's no doubt about that. There's a, you got that Megatron. I like the little red red eyes over there. You can definitely tell there. Uh, sparse paint apps, which is kind of weird for Takata Tomy. I'm not going to lie to you. Kind of weird. It's got that gunmetal gray, another shade of gray, a lighter shade of gray, more of a silver, two shades of gray on the arm, which is kind of weird. You got that blue and the purple, of course, but I don't know. It's not painted that well. Uh, you know, I'm kind of used to more, for Takata Tomy, more paint apps. So this is kind of a downer, especially if it's a deluxe class. It's not as expensive, but still, you kind of expect more from Takata Tomy, is what I'm trying to say. Okay, enough about that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the articulation. There's a ball joint on the shoulder, but it only seems like it swivels out. You can definitely tell it's a ball joint, because that, that's part of the transformation. Okay, ratchet joints on that shoulder, and I like the ratchet joints, but usually they're reserved for, what do you call that, Voyager size figures. So, got a bicep swivel, but it's way up there. Don't know why they put it up there, maybe it's just for transformation. And his weapon is actually stored underneath. You can try to hold it, and it holds it okay. I'd rather that you do this, I'm, it looks better that way. It's supposed to be underslung, but I don't know. It just doesn't... I, I don't feel it. Not an underslung weapon. He's not an underslung type, of, underslung type of guy. I know he's trying to emulate Megatron, but not my thing. Got his waist swivel. Let's see... The hand just pivots because for transformation. Got ball joints on the hips, high thigh swivel, and the proportions are weird. Look at his legs. Got a hinge. Yep, and I still live by the Navy base. <laughs> and this weird thigh, or sorry, knee protector, and no swivel. No swivel on the foot. I mean, maybe a little. So articulation to me seems a little bit limited. It seems blocky. 
it's like they're going backwards in this. But either which way, he looks good. If, if, if not, his torso is a little short with the long legs and definitely long shins. Weird looking feet, or sorry, weird, yeah, weird looking feet and uh, his proportions are weird, but it looks okay. It looks okay. Alright, robot mode definitely is where it's at. 7 out of 10. Let's go ahead and transform him. Only one thing I forgot to mention is that he comes with a few extras. It does come with this sheet over here, the QR code. And this is what I like about Japan because they actually throw a few bit extras. Yeah, Autobots versus Decepticons. So you got you can get the preview over here. And you can see all the different brain or all the different players in the game here. Looks like mostly Autobots though. Also comes with a decent transformation sheet. Let's go ahead and transform them. Um, I'm the one taking my time over here. I usually like to rush, but uh, you know what? This is my first review. First thing we're going to do is rotate the weapon. All right, and with that, we're going to move the arms around. Okay, so this over here, rotate it about 90 degrees. Yeah, there we go, just like that. So they're up like that, and we're going to move them around, put the arms in, sorry, the hands in. Good, good to go. Lower his chest plate. Well, one thing I forgot is that the head is on a ball joint, but it just doesn't move too much. It's more like a swivel. Alright, so we're going to rotate this up and move this inward like so. And it will connect. There are tabs right here and a tab right there. You can see that little tab right there and the little tab right there. And they snap in place. Not that great, mind you. I'm not going to lie to you. All right, now for the head, we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. And there's this little notch for his little crown piece right here, reminiscent of Galvatron, mind you. And it just barely fits in there. And that's how you hide the head. Not a big fan of that. All right, for his lid. And then we're going to rotate this around. Cool. For his legs, we're going to put, put them in a split position. Move these back. Move it at the hinge at the knee, move these back, move this little piece over here like little launchers, move that forward, so go like that, then take this piece right here and move it up till it connects at the front. So, just, so move that like so, all the way to the front, alright good. And they are tabs, as you can see. This tab right here goes into there, and that tab goes into there. And what you have is a weird looking tank. Yeah, I'm not a big fan of this. It looks like, what do you call this? He's just lying. He's lying down. Not, never a big fan of it. Yeah, it has a turret. Yeah, it has a weapon. Yeah, the turret can move. Yeah, most of the parts are hidden. Lack of paint apps, very me mediocre effort, I'm, I'm not going to lie. It rolls well, it looks decent, I'm not going to lie to you, just fine, I mean, but what do you want? I mean, there have been better tanks with a better mold, and maybe I'm thinking of a one in general over here. That look, that performed better, I don't know, this looks like it's so out of date. It would have been fine like back in 2008, but man, I don't know. Five out of 10, it, just the effort isn't there. I like the molding, I like the tank tread, but even then it fails at that. It doesn't go all the way through. You can definitely see the guy's foot. You can see the back. Very mediocre effort. Five out of 10 for this mode. All right, YouTubers, that's all I got, and I'll catch you all next time.